What's going on guys? It's Francesco Yates and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch. So Francesco, tell us, how did you get your start in music? Uh, School of Rock basically ruined my life. Uh, I went into it watching the movie and I just got inspired to become a musician kind of after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been working at it steadily ever since and uh, that's, what's, that's what's gotten me to where I am now. The Toronto music scene has a very community type of vibe and you know, it's, um, it's also, to, it's getting it shot on the world stage in a really big way, the same way kind of like the Minneapolis music scene would be. And it has its own sort of sound too, it's very recognizable. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it in that way. Uh, the type of artist I want to become is the one that, you know, changes things and moves the culture forward. Um, and you know, it, it, it's sort of thought-provoking almost in some way. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, my music, uh, in, in with being a writer, or producer, or I'm always trying to be very innovative and in doing something that no one else wants to, no one else, not no one else wants to, but no one else has done before, and blaze a new trail. That's what I seek in, in my artistry. New song, do you think about me? It came to me uh, when I was thinking about. When you see a couple walking down the street, you never know what one person is really thinking about. Are they thinking about someone else? And just the whole play on that sort of angle. And, uh, you know, I like to play at like, the psychology, the yeah. twisted psychology behind it. Um, and that's how that kind of came about. And it seemed to flow really easy. I wrote it in about a half an hour. And it also, it also my songs I find always start with the bass line. Yeah. That started with a really trippy bass line. That's what I did. Opening for Justin Timberlake. Now, I have to say this because I used to do little breakdance videos to like the Future Sex Love Sound yeah. soundtrack. So I never thought being the 11 year old kid, if you had told me in the future I'd be opening for Justin Timberlake, I, it would have been mind boggling. So the whole thing was very, very crazy. It was like a, it was pretty surreal. You yeah. know? And to even talk with him and sit with him and find that he's a really- I was gonna say, did you meet him? Yeah, I, I did, I spoke to him a couple times and to have met him and find that he's a very down earth and pretty chill, kind of introspective sort of dude. Oh, really? Is it was different for me. Um, we started talking about stuff and live performance and things like that. And uh, guy's a wizard, man. He's a wizard. Yeah. Master of his art, that guy. Next for me, I am going to be putting out my album, my first album, my very first album in September, and uh, I'm just excited to get it out to the world as well as I think I'm going to start doing uh, some of my own touring dates. I've always wanted to get back on the road again. I kind of took a little bit of a break um, to find out who I was, um, and now I'm in a better place now, and I think I can go and just attack it head on. Amazing. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see you on the road. Right on. Hey guys, it's Francesco Yates, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch, Northside Sessions.